What's going on, y'all? So listen. What's going on, y'all? So I'm back, and I know y'all like, damn, bitch, another video. No, this is a separate video because I know some people are probably gonna be like, where? I you didn't talk about Roxanne, Roxanne, and what it is. I know because I was gonna do a separate video for it. Um, Roxanne, Roxanne. It was on Netflix. It came out on Netflix last Friday, this past Friday, I should say, and on the 23rd. And um, it was a Netflix movie starring Nia Long, Mahershala Ali. Um, I can't get the girl who was playing Roxanne, um, but them are the two big names that are in the movie. Um, and... It is a biopic somewhat about the life or the teenage years of, um, you know, Roxanne Shante. She was one of the first, one of the first female rappers out there who got a lot of play, who got a lot of attention. You know, I'm not saying the first, she was one of, you know, who kind of paid the way for a lot of other rappers, especially female rapper, women rappers who came after her. You know, she, um... Lived in the projects in Queensbridge, I think out there in Brooklyn or whatever. We saw a little Nas up in there. I was like, bitch, is that supposed to be Nas? Because it was like Nas and he was like, can I, hey, hey, yo, Shantae, can I, um, can I kick a rap to you? She was like, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Um, 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 look, Nazir, next time I talk to your ass, you better have your shit together or else I'm going to fuck you up. Next time she, um, talked to her, she had his shit together. I said, that was nice, that was nice. I like that ending because it gave me hope that they probably going to do something like that with Nas, like give him a little biopic because I feel like Nas has a very, very interesting story to tell um and it, it'll really really do good basically Roxanne Shante it started off um <clears throat> I think this was big for hip-hop you know and I'm loving the fact that we are getting as African Americans and minorities in general are getting a lot more reputation representation being shown on these streaming platforms and getting our stories out there getting our uh, material out there and, you know, to get Roxanne Shante, her information out there, I thought it was a cool look. I did like the movie. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the greatest. But it was decent. It was nice. I liked it. It kept my attention. It's an hour and 40 minutes throughout. Okay. And Nia Long, congrats. Props up to Nia fucking Long. Because Nia Long did that shit, Bitch, Nia Long said, y'all must have forget that I can fucking act. And she acted her ass off in this movie, all right? That whole, she played Roxanne's, um, Roxanne Shante. Um, she played her mother, you know? And when it started out, you could just tell that, you know, Shantae, her, they called her Shantae, okay? That was her name. And then when they did the call and response to the record that came out, when she, you know, the real Roxanne and all that stuff, when she first put her thing out, um, and then that blew up and then she blew up and became a little bit known just around the neighborhood and everywhere else and getting shows here, shows there. But then the show was actually like a tale and it had a moral to it in certain different morals and different things that you can take away about how, you know, when these young kids get into this music industry, how people can try to take advantage of them, especially the adults. You know, that's supposed to be helping them, okay? You had a compare and contrast going on when Roxanne really got big to a point where she needed a bodyguard. And then, you know, the people that's supposed to be on her team are also supposed to be looking out for her, like her manager and the DJ who supposedly, you know, found her, who, you know, said, come up here, you know, and spit this verse or whatever because she was getting big and people was recognizing her over him. He's getting in his feelings, and, you know, she did get a little bit big-headed in the movie. That's what they put in there. But, like I said, you can see the comparison of the person who actually was out there not trying to get anything from her. That bodyguard who was literally driving her where she needed to go said, you know, I got your back. You know, I love you because, you know, like a little sis or whatever. And that was it. But then you see the other side, the people that she trusted, trusted, like her manager and the DJ tried to rip her off and then kicked her off that tour and took her money, you know? 
that's how they play you in these industries, especially when they're kids, because these kids out here are naive as hell. And she was only 16 years old, okay? She was only 16 years old when all this stuff was going on. Um, I do like the fact that they gave a little history about how she was growing up. Um, you know, they started from the beginning when they were in the projects and her mom was with this guy, which wasn't their father, okay? And they were supposed to be getting this house or whatever. Roxanne just, they made her come off as if she just had this little cockiness to her. Like, she had this little arrogance to her. Like, we already knew she was champ out there for, you know, um, battle rapping people, dudes, okay? She wouldn't battle rap for no money, uh, for free. She had to have some money put up or whatever. She would always win most of the time. That's what they were showing us. That was a cool aspect. She's out there honing her craft, okay? And obviously, she was good enough that she was so in demand. People would just call out there and go, she want to rap. He want to battle you and all this stuff. And, and it got to a point. She was like, yo, I ain't doing nothing for less than 250 I said, oh, bitch, put your price up there. That was some. That was a grip back then in the 80s, girl. Come on. It's, a, it's, it's enough now, but 250 back then, girl, yeah. Um... So that was going on. I like that aspect, but the story with the mama and how that boy, oh, that was so fucked up. If you have not seen it, please watch it because I'm just, and, and that was a tale. That was also a, 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 a tale that you, a, a lesson to be learned because she trusted this man. They're about to move out the projects into this house. And at first he was like, um, he was like, Yo, we ain't going to be able to move because I ain't get the money. And then she was like, yo, I got some money. I've been saving this up for years and stuff like this. And she gave it to him. Her life savings, thinking that he put the deposit down on the house. They they packing up. It's Roxanne getting all cocky with it, telling everybody she about to leave the projects and shit. And that motherfucker ran off with their money. So they had to stay there. Okay? stay. I said that was fucked up. And that messed the mama up so bad that she turned to drinking. You know, and it was just, and it turned her bitter, very, very bitter. And it's understandable because she put her faith and trust in a man. Uh, and it's not just a man, a no good nigga that she couldn't see was playing her. And see, once again, one bad apple spoils the bunch for some people, okay? You got one motherfucker that fucks it up and then you have people like Roxanne's mama who think that all men ain't shit. All men are not ain't shit niggas, Okay. There are some good ones out there. You just got to, you know, weed through the bullshit to find a good one, okay? And, you know, she was trying to put that out there on her daughter not to just settle for the first nigga that show up in your face or whatever. Bitch, Cross, played by Mahershala Ali. That nigga, uh, it was disgusting. At first, it was like he didn't want her. But then when I realized how old she was later on in the movie and that he was a grown ass man coming after her after she got the fame. Okay. After she started popping and then to be buttering her. This is another lesson. They, you know, buttering her up and stuff like that and making her feel real special and shit. And then once you get them good and comfortable because she's young, she's naive, start beating her ass. And that shit hurt my heart. What he did to her, and I'm not going to say what he did. I want you to watch it. But his last interaction with her, that shit was disgusting as fuck to me, if you ask me. I said, how fucking dare you do some shit like that? And oh, I was just like, who would think to do this? <laughs> That's what they do, get these young girls, because they think they naive, and you can just butter them up and hang this and be nice to him for a few seconds get them all good and comfortable with you and then your true face come out your true face come out and you just you know be abusive and controlling this fucking that's exactly what he was and um it was it was it was sad that a lot of people even to this day still have to go through domestic violence okay um And it was like, what example are you setting for your sisters? Because she had like three younger sisters, too, that was looking up to her. And it was like, you sitting around getting your ass beat by this man. And, oh, it's just, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. But, you know, I will say overall, the movie was very good. 
for a certain point. I felt though that we could have had a little bit more. Um, am I missing some stuff? I wish I, I don't know. It just felt like it wasn't complete. And I know Roxanne Shante put out there that she just wanted to focus on the teen years and the things leading up to her, you know, how she became the way that she became. But I feel like her story in this movie is incomplete in that aspect because it just feels like your story is not finished. Yes, we get it. This is the teen part, you know. So are we going to get a part two? And if not, I feel like they should have, like a lot of people been saying, it would have been good if it was like a little mini series because then you could have got, you know, 10 episodes and then 8 to 10 episodes and, you know, we would have got a lot more information put out there. And her whole story would have got put out there. That's what I feel like. Her whole story. And then, you know, focusing on what she's doing now. And how she's still making an impact now, you know. But overall, I actually like the movie. I, I suggest it was a good it was a good watch. You know, like I said, if you're a fan of Nia alone, you will be a fan of hers in this movie. Mahersha Ali going to piss you off. Um, but other than that, the girl who played Roxanne Shante, she did a phenomenal job. Everybody acting was on point for the most part. Um, I would love to see some more of these little hip hop bio, 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 biography, biopics, pics, and stuff like that on Netflix or wherever. Like, I just want us to really, really get out there. And it's about time that they're starting to take our history, our culture seriously and not try to just take from it, but put it out there and say, bitch, this is where it fucking started, okay? So y'all tell me how y'all felt about it if you watched it. And who would you like to see next to have a picture? Like I said, I want Nas out there. I would like a Jay-Z movie or, you know, not necessarily a movie movie, but like a mention or something like that, you know. But you don't have to put everything in a movie. But if you could, who would you want to see? And it can be anybody from music or whoever. But, um, yeah, you guys tell me how you felt about the movie and, um... Put down in the comments some of the shows that you have been watching. I'm about to start watching that new series called On My Block or whatever. Um, I got it in my list. About to watch it. Um, I've just been watching a lot of documentaries on Netflix lately. But, yeah, y'all tell me what's up. And, you know, have a good one. Peace.